Hey there, so let's talk about my health. It's been a bit of a ride. So I've been uh, sick for the past couple of weeks. I'm pretty sure in my last video I talked about having a sore throat. I still have a sore throat. I haven't gone to see anybody about it, but I've had a cold for like six weeks. Um, and it's, it's still present. So you're like, Azariah, you... Why have you not gone to the doctor? Well, I'm telling you why. Because we're monitoring this ish. Because. Because, because. For the first time in like two and a half or three or however many years it's been, I think like two and a, three quarters. Two and three quarters years, something is happening. So my mucus system is a little weird, but these videos usually are. So my mucus um, went from white to yellow to like dark yellow to dark brown, which indicates like lung bleeding that has happened in the past, uh, to green, and then went back to yellow and is now at white. So in case you are not familiar with the color coding of mucus, green indicates like really bad lung infection. And my body is fighting off this infection. My immune system as long as it's taking to do it, is fighting off something for the first time in two and three quarter years. That's insane. So we want to track this and want to see if I can actually successfully manage to do it. I think if I go into retrograde, if like I get worse again, if my mucus darkens again, then we'll go for antibiotics. But if my body can fight off a cold, then I won't need to be on antibiotics as often. And the work of healing has begun. And then, eventually, maybe, I'll be able to fight things off faster. And maybe I'll return to some semblance of normalcy. Though I imagine I'll always be in, like, pain. And have the other aspects of my illness that normal people have. Well, normal people with EDS. As opposed to me with EDS. <coughs> yeah, there you go. Thing number two, I did the thing where I cut my toenail. Now there's an infection kind of thing happening in both sides of each toe. That's fun. Um, oh, Monday the 14th, I just couldn't speak, I lost my voice. My throat wasn't, my throat actually wasn't hurting that day. I don't know what happened, my mom seems to think I just had a mucus clog, maybe. I don't know. All I know is that for the vast majority of that day I couldn't speak and then I could speak limitedly and I mean I'm filming it on the 15th and now my voice is alright so <coughs> um. anything else? I think I'm sk I skipped my period again so I think there's something swanky going on with one of my ovaries so I think maybe I'll finally get to go see a gynecologist. Y'all are like, why do you want to see a gynecologist? But the rest of you are like, why haven't you seen one before? So you're supposed to, if you have a vagina, you're supposed to go see a gynecologist about once a year from when you're like 16 onward. More often if you've got weird janky stuff going on, but um, I haven't seen one yet when I'm 18, so should probably get on that. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, um, my ankles are really hurting. And like specifically, this is my left ankle. And this bone and this ligament specifically, like just in this area, are hurting and it's getting worse each day. And that's not fun. And while the sensible part of me is like, this is ridiculous, the worrisome part of me is like, you have bone and tendon cancer in your ankle. Probably don't. Probably don't. So we'll just keep an eye on that and see what's up. Migraines. I missed a day of school for a migraine, unless that was in an, uh, an earlier cycle. <coughs> I don't know. It's good. That's been good. Except this cold, but even that's good. So, that's it.
hope you have a great day.